Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I will be attempting to cut my own curtain bang. Okay, now if you guys watch my previous bang video, I did cut my own bangs, more of like a Korean bang style, and that turned out pretty well. So I felt pretty confident about cutting my own curtain bangs. And after searching on YouTube, I did find a really good tutorial from Brad Mondo, who uploaded a hairdresser's guide to cutting your own curtain bangs. So that's the tutorial I'm going to follow today. I want to cut like a bang that's a little bit thicker and then something that can kind of like frame my face because as you guys can see I'm quite boring at the moment this is just this is it this is my hair so according to Brad's guide I need some hair cutting scissors not kitchen scissors he specifically said no kitchen scissors something that actually cuts your Hair, not kitchen scissors. Mm -mm. And then I need some clips to clip my hair back. Comb, I only have like a wide tooth comb. I hope that's okay. I'm gonna need to wet my hair, so I need like a bottle of water, or like a, you know, you can just go wet your hair in the bathroom. And then like a hair dryer and a round brush. So let's get started. So step one is gonna be to have wet hair. You're gonna want that to not be dry. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section with some water. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have like done my makeup after. Okay, so step one, wet the hair, dampen it because that's going to weigh it down and kind of like straighten everything, especially if you have frizzy hair. I don't know how much of this to wet. Maybe more? Do you think more? I don't know. It's going to wet the whole front section. Keep watching. Our hair in front of our face, just like this. The next step is to do a middle part. Everybody loves a good middle part these days. We all know those are also very trendy. Apparently, if you do a side part, you're ugly. I mean, I do enjoy <laughs> a, a good middle part, I do, but you know, sometimes side parts can look fun and cute. We're parted in the middle. I hope I haven't lost you quite yet. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches, up to you, depending on how thick you want them, and depending on how thin your hair is naturally. I'm gonna go about two inches back and I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. Okay, so for this, I don't know if I'm gonna go that thick. Like he said like to the ends of the eye. I cannot see, I need an actual mirror. Okay, so now I need to figure out how thick I want my bangs. He suggested like the end of the brow. So let's just see what that looks like. I think I need to grab more. I'm gonna aim for like a medium-ish thickness. Why does this side look so thick compared to this side? Okay, I'm not gonna go as far as the end of my brow. I'm gonna go like the, like the middle of my brow. Depending on your face shape, that might be the middle of your eyebrow. Maybe the end of your eyebrow. If I only went to the middle of her eyebrow, it'd be a very thin bang, okay? That's fine. If you want a very thin one, go for it. So you should have this little triangle section right here. And we're gonna clip the rest of the hair out of the way, just like that, all right? Or you can just take off all the hair into a ponytail. That's also fine. I think that's the ring finger and the thumb. We are gonna comb what? this section cut what? nicely, okay? He's holding his scissors like this. What? I don't feel comfortable cutting like this. I feel like I can't control anything. So we're gonna hold our scissors like this. So the third finger right here. I think that's the ring finger and the thumb. We are gonna comb this section. Oh, I usually just hold hold it like like this with my middle. We are actually gonna take this entire section in one. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but we're trying to make this easy for you guys, okay? Then you're gonna decide what length you want to cut. Normally I like to go right under the cheekbones for the curtain bangs. That's usually a good height to start with. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer, all right? So I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, maybe right at the nose, and I am going to cut across. I just made that first little snippy snip. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna recomb it and I am going to cut another one. Okay, so I need to figure out how how short I want my bangs. 
I think I want to elect a little bit longer because like he said, you can go shorter, you can't go longer. So I think I'm going to maybe just where my, my top lip is. We're going to snip. <laughs> scared. This is the thickest bang I've ever cut. <gasps> okay, first snip. We're on a roll now. It just feels so weird cutting with my like cutting, holding the scissors like this. Oh my god, that's a lot of length I just cut off. <gasps> Shoot. Alfred warned me not to come home with an abomination, so I'm gonna try my best to cut something decent. For our relationship's sake. Oh my gosh. All oh, that hair. Well, this is not very straight, so let me just fix this. The problem is like I need like a mirror that's just front on, you know what I mean? Because I'm looking down at the moment and it's cramping my style. It just went into my eye. How my own hair attacked me. Where'd it? Does that even look straight? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of like half regretting this. This is, this is a bit chunky, eh? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I feel like I have a hair in my eye. Like I kid you not, one of my hairs just like stabbed me in my eyeball. It was like the universe telling me to stop. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Damn hair was in my eye. And I'm gonna take a strand from each end and just make sure that they are the same exact length on both sides. They look great. And if they weren't great, we would just do a little doo -doo, snip, snip, snip. Okay, so I'm just gonna check my work to see if it's like even. Oh my God. Can I have a tissue? My nose is leaking. My body is just rejecting this. It is rejecting the, these curtain bangs. Like everything, it's, it's trying to pull all the tricks to stop me. But I'm unstoppable. Okay, I'm on a mission. I need to make sure this is even. Okay, let's just say it is even. Now you're doing a great job. I can see you following along and I am so damn proud of you. You did it. You did your first snip. This is gonna be a home run, okay? For both of us. It's gonna okay. look beautiful. All right, so home now run. we have our bang. Oh, an ad. Okay, at least it gives me time. So we're gonna part the hair. Then we're gonna over direct the hair across the other side, opposite of where the part is. We're also gonna make sure our fingers are parallel to the section up here. So now you're getting this moment. Let me show you that again. Wait, Pick up what? the hair. I comb it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So you're gonna get something like that. He splits the hair back into the two sections, and now he combs this section across like this. And I'm supposed to hold it like, like that in between my fingers. It goes from short to long. And now all we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. Let's do this. So I'm gonna hold it across and then chop. How do I feel more comfortable kind of going like this? Chops. Oh, that is looking choppy. Hello, okay. Do you guys see how this is just like straight across? And then I just like kind of layered it. Look at that. How am I going to get it the same on the other side? That's the question. <sighs> As you can tell, it's a lot of pressure. This side I'm quite happy with. Let's just try to replicate it on this side. So again, kind of brushing it over or combing it over. I cannot hold my scissors like this. So bad I tried. Did it work? Okay. I mean, it, this side is a little bit shorter than this side. I'm gonna fix that. Continue. We're gonna get a beautiful angle to the fringe. Gosh, it's beautiful. Mine does not look that beautiful. 
and then the two end pieces and make sure they are the same length. Okay, so I just gotta double check my work again, grab the two end pieces, bring them together. I'm just gonna snip a little bit. I guess it looks kinda even. I'm kind of freestyling this bit where I didn't tell me to do this part, so I'm just, just following my instincts. So I'm kind of getting like this like triangle in the middle and I think that's what we want. Now that we have that part done, the biggest, most dramatic part of all, I am now gonna just blow dry her hair for you, get it all nice and cute, and then we're gonna go in and detail the bang. Okay, so I'm just gonna style the rest of my hair and then we're gonna blow dry this and try to make it look more like curtain bangs. I'm using my new Dyson Supersonic. I just got this baby and yes, I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but hey, better late than never, guys. I hate drying my hair. It takes really long and my arms get tired. But with my Dyson, it literally cuts the drying time in half. Plus, the hair dryer itself is much lighter than my old clunky one. So here, I'm just using the wide styling concentrator nozzle to smooth out my hair and create a soft curl at the ends because I'm trying to be fancy. So now with this fringe part kind of feels thick but we'll just see how it looks once i blow dry it. i'm just going to use my round brush and then just like blow dry it and kind of just twist and turn my brush as i dry but first i just need to make sure it's all going straight because i did have a center part so let's just blow dry it downwards first <laughs> okay so now i'm going to go in with my round brush and I'm just doing this on medium heat and uh, medium air pressure. Okay. So that is what it's looking like. And then now we're going to just kind of like flip it. Flip it. And kind of separate this part just to, where are you going? I just need to part it properly. Okay. It's just very choppy, huh? I think I do need to like blend it in with these side bits. What do you guys think? Like, so far it's looking good. I think you definitely need to dry your hair with a round brush because if I left it straight or to air dry, it just wouldn't look as nice. Ooh! Look at that on the side. That looks really good. Okay, I think I just need to blend it in with like the sides now. So it's not so like steppy, like choppy. This is like wall one length. I'm freestyling this because I remember I did this with the other bang. I'm just go going to just snip, 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 snip. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. And same for the other side. Oh, this side's always the harder side because you kind of like go the other way, right? Okay, now to... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't really see what I was doing just then, but I think that looks okay. This is looking a little chunky here, so I'm just going to... What do you call it? I'm just gonna hold my scissors like this and then just trim a little bit just to make them a little bit thinner it's looking a little bit a bit too heavy just slightly same for this side oh my god that's a lot of hair i think i'm gonna go again and just like wet it and then just dry it again so then it has like the side bits it definitely looks way way better when I blow dry it, it gives me that little bit of volume up here. And then like from the side, it kind of just like frames my face. Okay, so this is what it looks like. What do you guys think? It's definitely a bigger commitment than my previous bangs. My previous bangs, I can kind of like hide it because it wasn't that thick. But with this, this is like, I need to style this daily to make it look good. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying already because it's like in my face and I've got lashes on and so when the, when the bangs sort of like 
hit my lashes it is a little bit annoying but I do like the look you know I do like the look it's just gonna get a little bit of like getting used to it and I'm so glad I didn't go any shorter than this so if you guys are gonna follow Brad's tutorial make sure you're happy with the length first because his one is like a little bit shorter it kind of hits like just where the eye line is and yeah because I made mine a little bit longer it sits probably where the like my cheekbones are. I actually think it looks really good when I tie my hair up because it frames my face. I feel like it looks better when I like, shag it up. Maybe too shaggy, but you know what I mean. Like shaggy curtain bang. I can't stop playing with it. I don't know, do I like it? I'm like, one moment I like it and then the next minute when it like changes position, I don't like it. So, Okay, I'm not going to touch it anymore. This has a mind of its own. That's the thing. Okay, let's just... Okay, worst comes to worst, if I'm not feeling bangs, I guess I can kind of like hide it-ish. Oh no. Oh no. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I can't handle myself right now. I can't. Okay, guys, that was like 10 minutes of me going through an emotional roller coaster, and I've decided that it's okay. There's moments where I love it, and then there's moments where I kind of regret even cutting it. But good news it's gonna grow out, hair grows, it's not the end of the world. <sighs> Just have to accept that it has a mind of its own. Anyways, overall, the tutorial was actually really easy to follow, though I just don't know if I can pull this off. I think one thing that kind of bothers me is just that it's just like a lot chunkier than like any bang that I've had before. So it's really just me. I need to get used to it. Okay, guys, that is it to this episode of Tina Trizer. Let me know your thoughts below. Yay to the bangs or nay to the bangs? I know what Alfred's going to say. I'm going to definitely hear it when I get home. Anyways, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Like, I like it, but then when it moves, I don't like it. Okay, I like it like this. Stay like this. <gasps> what did I just do? How to make hair grow faster. Look happy, Tina. Look like you did the best thing in the world. It's amazing. I rock it. Oh my god, I'm so pretty. Yes, love the bangs. Amazing. Best haircut I've ever had. Yes. Okay, put it out to the universe. And it shall happen. Hopefully. Thank you.